Three, two, one. It's hammer time. A, li a little bit more excited, a little bit more energetic. Come on. Three, two, one. It's hammer time. Time, time, time. We've got Toto at the end, um, and then to the right of him, we've got Lewis's crew, and then to the left hand side, we've got Valtteri's crew, and then working from, from Toto's end, so the, uh, the back of the garage forward, we've got the race engineer uh, who's actually on the radio, then you have the performance engineer, and that's Ricky or Marcus, um, and then from there on one side, we have tyres. Um, on Lewis's side, and so they're basically across the garage, so they're just um, performing that role. And then on the other side, we've got the aero uh, representative, so that tends to roll uh, through the season, different different uh, personnel every other race. Um, and then at the far end, we've got the uh, HPP uh, engine mechanic, who's basically just looking at the engine fire-ups, making sure that uh, we end up sending the car out at the right temperature with all the right pressures. As a team principal, the risk of distracting uh, the operational um, guys is much bigger than actually adding some value. So I felt that for my role, sitting back in the garage and having an overview of everything is more important. Well, I can see both engineering teams. I can see um, Tony and I can see Bono and his team. I see the cars on track and I can see the guys on the pit wall out there. The, the pit wall, it was, um, it was an area where it's very noisy. The old V8 cars are pounding around, making a lot of noise. And back then the radio quality wasn't brilliant. Um, so now we've got the digital noise cancelling and it's so much better. I can't see much. I'm not very tall myself. <laughs> yeah, he can't see anything at all. Tony's got the benefit of, uh, yeah, yeah, he's about three or four inches taller than me, so he can actually see over. Um, I have to tend to peer around. Um. <laughs> so I'm looking mainly at the chassis channels. So we're looking at the telemetry, so that's both the reliability of the car and the performance elements of the car. But, that you, you have to be careful just to kind of take out the ones um, that you're not interested in. And then finally I'm trying to think what the third thing is. Strategy is one. There are so many feeds in terms of channels. <laughs> I've actually got about 16 different things. But <laughs> I mean, even when you come back from a, the summer shutdown because you've been away for two weeks, it's like being first first day of term again. So each through a weekend because it's so kind of busy, you've got to remember again. Ah, right. I should be looking. I should be doing this now. I should be doing that now. No, I didn't really struggle with the front anymore, so the front was good. Altry has his own Finnish style of, of being very, very calm, very objective, even in the most stressful of situations. Have you gone for a break, Bono? Because I haven't had an update for a while. Normally I'm just giving him a lap-by-lap -lap update. I'm like his virtual pit board. We do hang the pit board out, but it's a lot easier for me to just tell him what, uh, what the gaps are lap times and any concerns that we've got. Now back now, Lewis. So yeah, Verstappen, uh, 33.6, uh, we have lost that safety car gap to him with the traffic. Uh, you're going to have five cars coming up soon. This is a relatively new thing in that we now have wireless intercoms um, available and we can use those on the grid. Um, so you may see on the pit wall and on the engineer's island we've got the intercom panel. It's got about ten buttons on it and each of those buttons is not a person. 
it's a, it's a group of people, it's a conversation. Um, but in terms of when the drivers come back to the garage, what they do is they stick the headset on. I'm on the grid, I have an intercom panel with me, uh, a wireless pack, but uh, I can actually talk to the driver whilst they're in the garage. There's no cameras, no fuss, and we can have a quick debrief about the, the laps to grid, what the balance felt like, what's the weather like, what are we expecting. So um, yeah, we can actually go through all that without the, the hustle and bustle of a thousand people crowded around the car on the grid. Good job, good job. Yes! Great job, Bono. Great job, everyone. You're back to factory. What a, what a weekend. Yes, get in it. Get in there, Lewis. You can hear it, mate. You can hear that crowd. You are the man. The last question. What do you love most in your job? Oh, uh, winning. <laughs> winning. <laughs>